Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my workflow in Lightroom on an iPhone. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. I haven't done a lot of editing on mobile devices, iPad, iPhones and uh, I just uh, wanted to give it another shot. So this time I'm gonna try Lightroom on my iPhone. I never used a lot Lightroom on mobile devices and this time I want to give it a chance. So I uploaded five pictures on my desktop through Adobe Lightroom, not classic, but just Lightroom. And uh, these are available automatically through the Adobe Cloud in my mobile. So I'm going to select this image here and uh, we're going to see what we can do with it. So I could go for auto setting and hoping that the software will do the best for the picture. Obviously this doesn't work, so let me undo it. And I'm gonna go manually step by step. So first thing I wanna set the white balance. So I'm gonna take the automatic white balance and then because the image is a little bit cool, I'm gonna back it off until I like it, right about there. Uh, with that done, I'm gonna go back in uh, the light tab i'm gonna bump the exposure a little bit and then definitely back off the highlights and bump the exposure just a little bit more and i can maybe open the shadows touch and i will leave all the rest as is tap on the curve and i'm gonna give it that faded look so it's about raising the blacks and lowering down the whites and then introducing a slight S curve to give it some contrast. I think something like that it works. So I'm done with that. Uh, tapping out of this adjustment. Now holding my finger on the image will give me a before and releasing an after. And this is the before and this is the after. I kind of like it. Um, I just need to add a little bit more contrast and maybe I need to lower down the blacks a little bit, like so. Now, because of that, I've introduced a lot of saturation, which I'm gonna take care of, but first I wanna decrease a little bit more the highlights. All right, now jumping into color, I'm gonna bump up the vibrance so that all the colors in the image have uh, equal vibrance. And then I don't like oversaturated image, so I'm gonna back off on this like maybe a 9, 10. All right. Uh, next, we're gonna give it some texture, maybe eight points, two, three points of clarity. Uh, vignette, I like vignette, so I'm gonna go all the way down because I wanna see what I'm doing. I wanna play with the midpoint, and I think I like it there. Feather. I'm not going to touch it. So double tapping on the slider, it will reset it. Uh, roundness, I'll leave it there. Now double tap on vignette and then I'm just going to set it as I like. And I think negative 15 is fine. Moving on, I have the grain. Now double tap on the image to zoom in and I'm going to set the image to a mid gray area where I can see grain. Uh, probably this is even better, the hair, yeah. And I usually increase the grain. Let me find, yeah, this is a better area. So usually what I do, I increase the grain until I see it showing up and then I back off. And I think this is a good point for me. I don't play with size and roughness. I like the, uh, I like the default values there. So closing this tab. I'm on top on the image and sharpening. Now I want to make sure that sharpening doesn't get applied to every single detail in the image, but just to the sharpest edges. So I found that usually uh, masking between 85 and 90 is a good point. And that's what I'm going to do. Noise reduction, I don't care. This image was shot at uh, ISO 100, so there is no noise. And I just added grain, so I like that grainy look. Uh, so it's fine, and I'm gonna go out of it. 
Um, I'm not going to correct distortion introduced by the lens. This is an 85 millimeter lens, so it's a perfect focal length for um, these kind of photographs. But I'm going to remove chromatic aberration if there is any. And then geometrics, there are no lines to be straightened because this is not uh, architectural, so I leave it there. And uh, I think we are almost done. So again, before, after, before, after. Now, the face of the model is lit by a light overhead. I want to highlight that effect. So I'm going to add a gradient filter. There you have it. And I just want to make sure that that light is like boosted a little bit. So I'm going to go here and increase the exposure a little bit and maybe decrease the highlights. I like that. This is the before and this is the after. Um, I'm going to add one more gradient filter. I want to get rid of this dark band or at least I want to I want to brighten it up. So again here I'm just going to raise this until Okay. And I'm going to back off a little bit like so and I'm going to decrease the highlights again. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to add a radial filter. And I want to decrease the exposure all the way and invert the filter so I can see what I'm doing. I just want to select part of the model face, mainly the eyes like so and a smile all right so double tap on exposure to reset it and now i'm gonna decrease the exposure this is like a selective vignette i think like this is fine commit on that and this is the before and this is the after and this is how i like it the viewer's eyes are really drawn into the model face the smile and one single tap and you will get rid of all the controls. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified every time I upload a video. Leave a comment down below and see you next time.